away from Plateau State, straight to oil state. Protesters are demanding change from the Nigerian government as uh, the uh, nationwide protest enters its second day. The joint action from Secretary Abiodun Bambui uh, criticizes the President of the government for not making a statement during the protest. Uh, Bambui urges the Nigerian Labour Congress and all the Labour groups to declare a two day CETA term strike in solidarity with the ongoing strike action. If it is a government that is sensitive to the pains of Nigeria, we will have expressed such government by now. Even we are not expecting that all of the demands will be met in a day, but at, at least we will have expected the, pres the president to have come out to address the Nigerians, to pacify them, and to give a commitment, at least which or which of the demands is able or he will be able to attend to. Now, Rashidat Adishina protests attributed violent clashes in the North to secret agency failure and urged the government to promptly implement their demands. It's uh, the responsibility of the peaceful protesters to ensure that the protest does not turn violent. It is the, it is the responsibility of the state security agencies, security agencies generally, whether state or federal. Where those protests are turned violent, the security agencies should also take absurd up. 100% responsibility for the way it has turned in those states. Because from the report that we got, that violence started when the security agency started to tear gas the protesters. And they also responded via their self to defend themselves. It is as a result of their self defense. That was why it has turned violence in those states. This is what we have seen in Kano people breaking shop, people destroying property that they know that it's always an opportunity for government to further loot the public treasury. But they behave in that manner because the Nigerian government has failed in its responsibility to make them a meaningful citizen. The way to foster that in the coming period is to ensure that all of the demands we are putting forward at this time are met. Let public education be adequately funded. Free education at all at all level. If that is the case, we will not have people climbing traffic lights. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.